I tell you, these people leave these comments on the YouTube videos like, oh, you're an experienced handyman, and I have all these bad stuff to say, but the phone don't stop ringing, so I guess somebody likes me. Hi, this is Bob. Well, Gatan is preparing the insulation while I cut away any loose drywall, and I'm also chamfering the edge of the rock that's surrounding this opening. By removing this loose debris and adding that slight chamfer on both the piece of rock being installed and the material surrounding the hole that's already there, it creates like a V groove, shaped like a V. And what that does is it really helps the drywall compound grab on better, so it holds the drywall compound better. So take a look at this product right here. It's made by Wolfcraft. And no, I'm not sponsored by them. It has three razor blades standard razor blade that you put in like a box knife. This chamfers the edge of the drywall with ease. Look, you just slide it across there and it puts a nice little, I don't think it's quite a 45 degree angle, but probably a 15 degree angle on it. And I did the same kind of uh, groove on the rock that's around the opening. Only I did it with the handheld knife because this isn't going to work in that situation. But look at that. So neat. Nothing's loose, ready for service. Have you ever seen cracked drywall where it splits apart at the seam? Well, if you haven't, you have now. Check this out. Packing a seam with Dorabond 90 prior to taping it will prevent cracking forever. That's right, forever. No callbacks, no customer complaints, just a bunch of happy customers leaving awesome reviews. And guess what? It only took you an extra 20 minutes or so. No reason not to do it.
101 outside. That's the feel like temperature. It's definitely time to take a break from the heat and work on the interior a bit. Now, I'm not taping off this drywall patch with paper tape or even mesh tape. This new stuff is called Fiber Fuse and it's very thin. This Fiber Fuse is an awesome product, but you don't want to mess with it too much. When you're installing it, if you're messing with it too much, it'll move around and bunch up on you if you're not careful. What I like about it, is the fact that it's extremely thin and very easy to coat over. This is my first time using fiber fuse and I absolutely love it. No, to lay it down more. Lay it to trial, there you go. So you spread it, not take it off. Add some more to the end over there, both sides. More. All right, the other side. More. Alright, now spread it. Lay it down more. There you go. Take it off. Take it off and take that. There you go. You know what? Don't add more to it. Just keep spreading. Well, I thought you didn't do it if it was flat. You're just bed and tape at this point. You can't have any empty spots though. So. Put that and that. more on that left side that spark show. Okay, try to lay it down. Alright, now take this in it. Put it right on the seam. Left, 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 up, 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 in there. And rub your fingers across it. Make sure it's going flat. Start in the middle and work your way to whatever side you want. Don't push hard. Just taking out what's behind it. Katana made me some mud paint. Can you shut the fan off? Mm -hmm. Look, mud paint.
It's paper towel. That's a wet one. going on right now. We had to just smooth it out because you can still see part of the frame where it was. And we'll get some paint on it. Just like that. Now I'm going to show you what the whole room looks like. It isn't cleaned up yet because the customer moved all of their furniture and computer to the center of the room for us. We're not moving it back because I don't move people's computers, but we will probably move the table and things like that for them. So let me show you what the whole room looks like after we get it cleaned up. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you see more every time we upload a new one, which is right now usually every Sunday evening around 9 p.m. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. Either way, we hope you have a great day and we appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Peace.